Hi guys and welcome to another tutorial video with Sassy Bead Shop. Um, sorry it's been a minute but I am back today with the badge reels. So now we sell in the shop um, your own project kit to make a beaded badge reel. These are some of the kits we have already made up. Um, I already made these ones up. Um, but however, when you buy a kit, you will receive it like this in a bag undone because it's a project kit for you to do. And these are just an example of how you can do them yourself. But these are some of the kits we have. So for example, this kit comes with all these beads and this bad drill. You just put it together. So if you don't like how I've arranged it, well, that's the beauty of these kits is you can pick and choose how you want the stuff. Um, so this kit comes with the, you know, focal beads, some beads, rhinestone spacer. This one comes with a focal bead, but two bubblegum beads with a bigger spacer. Um, this one's a focal bead, a bubblegum bead, silicone bead, fun new discs we have. Um, the discs, as well as some um, beads, are exclusive to kits. If you haven't noticed, there are some kits that have things we don't offer anywhere else and in the kits. So I'm going to get into it and show you guys how to create your own beaded badge drill from our Sassy Bead Shop badge drill kit. Um, a few things you're going to need. Um, as usual, I have my glue to tie the knots. You're going to need some sort of clip, like this one for example. It's just like a chip bag clip. You'll see why you'll need it in a minute. Clothespin should work too. Just anything that's a tight grip for a clip. Um, of course, I've got my scissors, as well as two um, pair of pliers. These are just some I've had. Um, I do recommend at least one of them having nice grip inside to hold, um, to clamp it shut at the end. You'll see that. Um, so let's dive into this kit. Um, and like the pin kits, these kits all come with a bag you can resell them in or display them in. Super awesome. So that's what that is, is the bag. So I'm just going to put this aside. Um, so this one we've got a Highland Cow, Cow Bead, Stripe Bead, as well as a new disc and a rhinestone spacer. Um, I'm going to figure out how I'm going to put this together here in a minute. I'm just going to get started first. So first of all, you're going to pull, and I always do a little bit more than probably I need, but you're going to pull out the bad drill and extend it. You're going to get your clip and clip it and drop it just like this, which prevents it from going back in because we're going to cut this knot, and if it goes back in, the bad drill is pretty much useless to be honest because it goes up inside and you have to break it apart to fix it. Um, so yeah, you definitely want this clip. Number one thing you definitely have to have is some, oops, of course, some sort of stopper. So here is the bottom of the bad drill. You're going to see this little triangle clasp here. You're going to take a pair of pliers, some this part you need a smaller pair and you're going to just push out so instead of clamping you're going to push out it's going to open it and you're going to just set this aside for now um, in here you will see that there is going to be a knot so we're just going to cut that little knot off pull off this part put that aside as well and here's where the easy part comes you string it um, I kind of like to always put focal beads at the top for some reason, so I'm going to start with my cow up top, um, and I'll probably do, like I said, the best part about these kits is they're a do-it-yourself project kit, so you can decide the pattern. You do not have to go with mine. I love this little disc because it kind of matches his hair, adds a little bit of spunk. So once you have it all um, on the string. This is going to be like the hardest part of the bad drill and honestly these are super easy to make super fast like this is going to be my fastest tutorial ever because they're just so quick. Um, but you're going to notice 
sometimes there is fraying. We do not want to fray here because we have to get this string back through that hole. Okay, so I always go in after I string it up and clean it up, cut in on an angle, clean it up as best as I can, make very few frayed strings. Sometimes you may have to get your hands a little bit wet to kind of keep this from being all frayed like this one is today. And right before you put this in, I would recommend getting a little bit of water and making sure that's straight and not frayed before you try because if you try and it's still frayed, see it frays up and it doesn't let you go through. So you just kind of recut, make sure you just do small cuts here and there because there's only so much retraction to a bad drill. Um, I'm going to try and focus on putting this in. So you're going to have some silence here for a minute because, of course, because I'm doing a video, I stay there fast and it's not fast today. So go figure and make sure you pull out enough if you didn't get enough you can pull this and get some more just so you can have more space to work um, okay here we go attempt number 6,000 you're gonna string it through you're gonna make sure it goes right out the top of this hole. Drop that down with the rest of your beads. I always, you know me, like extra strength. I do not want my customers um, getting these, the ones I sell elsewhere, made up. I don't want them getting these and having a problem with it falling apart or this knot's not big enough and it comes out the bottom and beads fall everywhere. So I am extra precaution person. I do a double knot. You're gonna cut the end. And what I usually do here, but I'm not gonna do this today, um, is put some glue on my knot so it doesn't come apart. And then you're going to like that second double knot I think you just did. So I'm going to give me an extra knot because that knot did not work out. And I'm going to pull tight and recut. Okay. So now you just pull that knot. You glue it or you don't have to. I do because of extra security. Pull it through. Make sure it's nice and tight before you release the clip. And then you can release the clip now. You can do it later. Almost there. Seriously, it took longer than I thought it was because I'm on a video doing a tutorial. I think that's how it usually works. Then you're going to grab this part back. You're going to switch to the pliers with the grips because if I just use these, they slip. Like I can't get a good grip on it and they'll slip. So if you have the ones with the grippers on the inside, nice firm hold. You're going to go in on these sides. I usually put one in first and then I just, just trying to see, clip it close. Hopefully you can't even see that. But as you can see right in here, you just clip it closed. And here's your retractable bag drill. So this is one of our kits. Um, the bad drills all are super nice. They have this claw clip, so it's got a firm grip. Um, if you extend them and you hit that clip, it locks it. Really cool feature. Um, and then they all will come with this little lanyard holder here at the bottom too. So that was really super, super awesome tutorial because it's one of the faster things I can make it seems so hard when you get it just in it's a bag 
don't know what to do. Well, now you guys can make your beaded bad drills in no time. Again, um, a few tips and tricks I like to use is the glue. Um, I always also like to just be safe than sorry. I do extra knots. Um, you guys seen that in the wristlets as well as here in the bad drills. Just cleaning up a little. Um, and that's pretty much it. I mean, really simple tutorial. Super easy. Super cute. These are a great addition to your small shop. If you're just looking to do a fun craft night with your girls and you guys need bad drills for work. They're super fun. I know some people even hang their keys off these and just clip them to their bag. But again, these are just some other styles we have in the shop. This one's really cute because the bead says best teacher ever. But you can find these kits all on our website at sassybeadshop.com. Under the project kit section, you're going to see um, bad drill kits. And that's where you'll find them. We have some great ones on there. Super cute holiday ones. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out. I'm sorry this tutorial took so long to get to you, but I hope you guys find it helpful. And again, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time.